Today, we're going to rebuild my Media Center PC to be a badass gaming machine. And put this in it. Stay tuned. Okay, finally, finally we're getting around to rebuilding my Media Center PC. Now, this isn't going to be much of your typical HTPC Media Center PC when I'm done with it. We are using a 7850, which I love, and I think it makes a great platform, but we're going to do some special things with this build as well. Let's go ahead and get to the time lapse, and then we'll talk a little when we're done. Of course, this is the Node 605, best, my favorite case, period, actually, but best uh, Media Center PC case in the market, in my opinion. I like stuff that looks like component AV gear. Now... One thing I'm doing is upgrading the power supply in this system. Wanted to go with something a little bit more quiet, a little bit better uh, airflow. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's modular and the modular cables interfere with this drive if I want to put it in an exhaust orientation. So I really want this to draw clean air from the outside. Uh, and unfortunately, when you do that on the sideways um, fit, all of the cables are at the bottom. So that means that unfortunately, we're going to have to sacrifice the DVD drive in this case. So as you can see, I tried to get it in there, but I basically just destroyed the, the little adapter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and buy a, a cheap $20 external enclosure USB and throw it in there because That'll work just fine. And, or maybe I'll put it in my wife's PC if she needs one. That said, like you can see how the mounting is here. So it just mounts to the bottom of the case. And that gives me lots of room. So the drive caddies do go in here. You'll see that later. But we're only going to use one. So that'll give me lots of room for cable management. So that said, let's go a bit over the parts a bit that I'm going to use here. We're going to use a 64 gig Intel SSD. Uh, why 64 gig? One, because it's the free one I have laying around. And two, because, well, I'm just going to use this game, this uh, PC, to basically game. And frankly, I just need enough to hold the OS and the page file. And that will do fine, because I'm not going to put anything else on that drive. Next, we're going to use, and this is where I'm debating, I might take my... Some of my 2133 RAM, but this is just HyperX, DDR3, 1600 megahertz, eight gigs. We have, of course, what the real heart of the upgrade is, and that is the FM2 Plus Gigabyte board, along with the A10-7850K. And we're going to go this round with a Gemini M4 cooler.
Okay, and we're done. Ish. So, what do we got? FM2, 650 watt power supply, one terabyte with a 64 gig OS drive, eight gigs of RAM, two system fans, and a badass case. After we do the, of course, standalone FM2 plus 7850K, here's what we're gonna put in this machine. We're gonna put one of those in there. And maybe one of those in there. And hell, maybe a 260X and a 250 and whatever other video cards I have around this bitch. Because I wanna see, especially the 280, if I can make a decent gaming machine that can get above 30 frames per second and will kick the crap out of a console. Because frankly, when I'm gaming seriously, I'm sitting at my big PC, my water-cooled rig, where I can push, you know, 120 plus frames a second in Battlefield 4. This is for casual gaming. Like, I want to sit back and play some Bioshock or, you know, just goof around. So guys, I hope you like this video. It's just kind of a little overview of how I build a system and kind of the things that, you know, my personal taste, like replacing fans, overkilling power supplies. Well, okay, none of this build is actually what I would recommend for somebody for a media center PC, but hopefully that's why it makes it enjoyable to watch. This is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Guys, check me out on Twitter, at Timmy Tech TV. Answer lots of questions over there if you want to nag me about something I did wrong in the build or compliment me because you never thought of something you just saw at Timmy Tech TV. And until next time, we'll see you then.